Hi and welcome everyone to this self-knowledge course. Today we will be talking about the seven bodies. Uh, this lesson will help us understand that just as this universe is multidimensional, we are multidimensional beings too. And we not only have this physical body which belongs to this third dimension, but seven bodies, which allow us to have a presence in the different dimensions of nature. But due to our current condition, how asleep our consciousness is, we are not aware of this. And these bodies are in a lunar state, in an egoic condition, and from some of them we only have a principle, which we most develop so that we begin to have permanent awareness of all dimensions of nature, and we begin to have a constant presence in them. Therefore, the objective of this conference is that we know each one of these uh, seven bodies, their functions, development, uh, nature, the laws that they manage, and that we understand that the work of regeneration, creation, and development of these bodies will be done through the sex scenes, just as this physical body was created through sex, it is through sex that all bodies are going to be created. So, in this conference, the practice of suprasexuality will be explained in detail to learn how we can begin to use our sexual creative energy wisely to awaken our consciousness, uh, consciousness in each one of these uh, dimensions. So, let's start by explaining what is a body. A body is a vehicle for the expression of the consciousness in the different dimensions um, of nature. So, each body moves in a different dimension. Uh, here, we see which those seven bodies are. We already have the physical and vital bodies created. Um, it could be said that they are already developed in an adult, but they are in a degenerated state, subjected to many diseases and um, ailments, since we constantly live abusing our energy. Therefore, we do need to regenerate these two bodies and transform them from that lunar state to a solar state. The astral, mental, and casual bodies are in the majority of human beings only as an embryo, which allow us some basic functions, such as feeling, thinking, and having some will, in addition to allowing us uh, to make brief unfoldings to the dimensions to which um, each one corresponds. But we need to create these bodies, develop them fully to access all their functions and capabilities. The bodic and atomic bodies are fully created and in the solar state. By studying these bodies, we are going to see, for example, that each body vibrates with one of the seven musical notes and that the denser the body is, the lower its vibration will be. Therefore, it will vibrate uh, with a lower musical note. We will also see that each body is of a different nature, from a dense nature such as the cell to the bodies of light. We are going to see that each body is governed by a series of laws, which are the limitations to which those bodies are subjected. We will also see the element of nature with which um, each one is related and the energy center of our physical body where they are located within us. We will also see the hydrogen with which they work or the level of purity of energy that it requires to function correctly. And we will see uh, some of um, their functions too. So, let's start by studying our physical body. All of us have uh, a physical body in this third dimension. This vibrates with the musical note Do, which is the lowest of the seven musical notes. 
since the vibration of the physical body is the lowest and the densest of the seven bodies. It is cellular in nature. It means it's made of cells. This body is governed by uh, 48 laws and forms what we call our outer world or earth. It is important to know that the bodies are within us. The physical body is the exterior and the others are uh, increasingly within us. This physical body is um, particularly important because it is a condenser of sexual energy. So it has the ability to create using the, sex, the sexual energy, uh, not only another physical body as the case of uh, physical children, but also we can create our internal bodies, learning to make wide use of our energy and the uh, capacity of energy can condensation it has. It is related to our sexual center and manages the sexual creative energy. It works with hydrogen uh, 48, which is related to the 48 loss. It is related to the earth element and therefore with the gnomes and pygmies that are the elementals of the earth. This body is in a lunar uh, condition due to fornication and we just have to regenerate it because we already have it. So here it is the second body called a etheric or vital body. It vibrates with a musical note re and it belongs to the fourth dimension. This body is the energy that gives um, vitality to the physical body and it is the one that gives energy to the physical body for its different functions. This body is governed by the same 48 laws as the physical one since it is the upper part of our physical body. And the duration of the physical body depends on the state of this vital body since if we constantly spend our energy uh, resources constantly fornicating our sexual, emotional, mental, and motor energy, we, we can faster and the life of the physical body is shortened. This body is um, etheric in nature since it is composed of four ethers that are chemical, light, reflector, and life. These ethers regulate, uh, regulate excuse me, our different organic functions. For example, the chemical ether uh, regulates the assimilation of substances in the body, the functions of our internal organs and glands too. The ether of light regulates the functioning of our external and internal sensory perceptions. That is the correct functioning of our senses. The reflector one regulates our processes of imagination, concentration, and will. And the ether of life regulates the reproductive, um, the reproductive um, capacity of the physical body. Any uh, irregularity in these ethers due to the wear and tear of this body or due to karma, since this body is related to the instinctive center that is the one that manages our karma, will result in one of the many diseases that we usually have. Since this vital body watches over the health of our, our, of our physical body. This body manages our waters and therefore the um, Yundins and Nereids, which are the elementals of water. Its uh, physical seat is in the um, uh, instinctive center in the sacrum. It produces vital energy since it is the tetra sustainer of energies. That is to say, it gives energy to our different centers and deposits the energy in the sexual center to create. It works also with hydrogen uh, 40, uh, 48. This body is currently in a lunar condition due to fornication also, because when we fornicate, uh, which is reaching orgasm or ejaculation, we waste our valuable energy resource. Hence, 
the importance of stopping spilling our sexual energy and starting to purify it to regenerate this body because we already have it. We also have a principle of the astral body which vibrates uh, with the musical note Mi. It is molecular in nature. That's why in the astral we can go through walls or we can stretch any part of the body and it stretches and stretches and then returns to its original state. This body is subjected to 24 laws, half the laws of the physical body and uses hydrogen um, 24. It is in the fifth dimension or emotional world and works with uh, emotional energy. In us, this principle of the astral body allows us to have the ability to feel. This body manages our inner fire and is related to the fire salamanders. This body has its, um, its seat within us in the emotional center at the level of the solar plexus. It is currently in a lunar state. A few, a few humans, uh, human beings have it, and therefore we must create it. We also have a mental body principle, which allows us to have the ability to think. This body vibrates, uh, vibrates with a musical note Fa. It is at, um, atomic in nature, so since it is made of atoms, it is more um, settled and lighter than the astral. It is subjected to only 12 laws. This body works with hydrogen 12, uh, which means that the degree of purity of the energy required to create that body is higher. It is located in the fifth superior dimension in the mental world and works with uh, mental energy. Creating this body will allow us to have a presence in the mental world and have control over the air element and the sylphus of the air. Uh, it has its seat within us in the intellectual center at the level of the heart. It is currently in a lunar condition. Only a few people have it and therefore um, we must create it. We also have a principle of the body of the will or Kessel body. It is the fifth body. It vibrates with the musical note Sol. It is subjected to only six laws. For this reason, the lightness and freedom that is experienced uh, with this body in the sixth dimension, which is what it is, is indescribable for us. Since the level of restrictions, um, materiality and pain are already minimal at that level. It is in the world of the causes. This body is um, electronic in nature. It means that it is composed only by electrons that are the negative charge of the atom. It manages the ether, which is the ability to dominate nature through the verb. This body has its seat um, in the motor center at the level of the lens. It works with motor energy and it uses hydrogen six. Currently, we have a principle of this body of the will that will allow us to deny our desires, but we need to create that body of the solar will through supra sex. Uh, we also have a body, a body, or body, or body, excuse me, of consciousness. This is in a solar condition, which means that uh, this body did not fall when the fornication took place. Therefore, it is fully developed. It vibrates with the musical note La. It is subjected to six laws, the same number of laws as the uh, Kessel body. And it is magnetic in nature. It is made of protons, which are the positive charge of the atom. This body is our divine soul. Having already created our Kessel body that represented um, or that represents our human soul, we have the right to unite with our divine soul, which we do not have to create because this body is raised and in a solar condition. 
This body is the sixth um, is in the sixth dimension or bodic world. It manages the akasha. This is a faculty that allows the master not only to dominate nature through the word, but also to create through the word. This body has its material seat in the superior emotional center in the uh, pituitary gland. It is found raised in all human beings, and it's just waiting for us to do the work of creating the first five bodies to merge with him. With him. Uh, we have also an atomic body, which is our innermost. It's in a solar condition, which means this body uh, didn't fall either. It is subjected to only three laws, and it vibrates with the musical note C. It is light or photonic in nature, so this body um, is a body of light, okay, and is made of photons. It is located in the seventh dimension or atomic world. It is the lowest that our being can reach, which comes from the world of antimatter. This body has its seat in the higher intellectual center in the pineal gland, and it is found raised in all human beings. So now that, that we've seen the seven bodies, let's see how we can create them. We are going to create these bodies by condensing our sexual creative energy, practicing a superior sexuality, through which we are going to transmute our sexual energy. And to do this job, it is necessary to have a stable partner of the opposite sex, because just as only through the sexual union between a man and a woman can the creation of the physical body of a child occur, the union of the feminine sexual energy with the masculine sexual energy is needed so that this cre um, creative force is activated in us in a positive way. That person must be interested in helping to collaborate with the work that we are going to do, which is not to get too excited during the practice to never reach orgasm or ejaculation since chastity is the basis of this work. We need also to value um, the sexual creative energy and its importance in the work. It is also important not, not to change partners. This work must be done in fidelity. We must uh, take into account that the valid reasons for changing partners are adultery, that means that the couple is uh, unfaith unfaithful to us, fornication, and that means that after a prudential time teaching the couple the importance of suprasexuality, she or he doesn't want to do the work or to stop fornicating, or also in the case the partner dies, okay? But also, if the couple's sexual apparatus has um, irreversible damage that prevents him or her from, from creating. Should any of this occur, it is recommended to wait at least a year. This is a magnetic break to start working with a different partner. Also, we need to love and value our partner in order to cultivate true love. It is important that both are aware of the work they are going to do and they must work uh, to improve it every day. The secret of the practice is to connect the masculine lingam with the feminine journey uh, without ever spilling the sexual creative energy. The steps uh, for the practice are as follows. First, energetically uh, clean the place where we are going to do the practice and close it by doing the conjurations, belling and the magic circle. This is what we learned in lecture number seven. Then make a request to our inner father, our inner divine mother to help us in the practice. The next uh, thing will be to light the fire with caresses and kisses to achieve perfect uh, lubrication for women and a good erection for men. 
it is important to remember that these kisses and caresses must be conscious so that they do not lead us uh, to overexcitement and the loss of energy. For this, it is important to purify the practice by working to eliminate our defects of lust. In addition to working with uh, psychological death to eliminate those sensations recorded in the instinctive center that lead us to orgasm and ejaculation. Thus, we increasingly regain more control in the practice. Once a good erection has been achieved, in the man and a perfect lubrication in the woman, we proceed to the connection or penetration. Once connected, we proceed to make our sexual energy ascend through our spine to the point between the eyes through a simple breathing process. The breathing process to transmute sexual er energy is quite simple. Okay, It consists of inhaling deeply and slowly until filling the lungs and then taking the air to the sexual gonads, ovaries in the women, testicles in men. Trying to do this inhalation slowly and deeply, reaching 20 seconds doing the inhalation uh, process if possible. Then the air is retained while imagining all that sexual energy, energy which, like a golden thread, goes from the sexual gonads to the coccyx, and from there it will ascend through the entire spine to the point between the eyebrows, doing this process slowly too. And once there, the air will be exhaled, making the sound slowly and elongatedly. E Then we repeat the breathing and imaginative process and then we reach to the point of exhaling the second time. We will do it with the sound. Ah. Then we repeat the procedure again and the third time with the sound. Oh. We repeat this process as many times as necessary to transmute all the sexual energy. The pronunciation of these sounds will generate a specific vibration on that energy that will activate its superior um, capacity of creation. If, uh, um, if at any time the sexual potency drops, I mean the man loses the erection or the lubrication, all the um, excuse me, or the lubrication in the woman is lost, it's necessary to make soft movements to recover the potency and continue transmuting the energy. This practice can be extended for as long as the couple wishes, uh, as long as they have sexual potency, uh, as soon as the potency ends completely because all the energy has already been transmuted, the practice ends. We must remember that the success of this practice is to withdraw from it without spilling the sexual energy. Um, it's also very important to keep in mind during the practice, uh, having concentration. It's very important to stay focused during the practice and not allow, no, not allow our mind to distract us uh, with any thought but keeping our consciousness focused on the practice. Also, imagination is very important. Uh, remember that for the wise to imagine is to see and to create. Therefore, we must strive to imagine the energy going up through our spine. And we must have will, which is the metal to overcome desire. Some um, recommendations to take into account. Uh, first, uh, we need uh, to practice once per night. The glands uh, work uh, alternately once per night. So it is necessary to leave a minimum of 20 hours to do another practice. Each one 
um, must uh, concentrate on their own genitals since each one works with their own energy. After practice, wait at least two hours before showering. Uh, also, it is recommended to have the room in a very good um, hygiene and cleanliness uh, conditions. Do not use contraceptives uh, as they isolate and affect the creative power of sexual energy. And we must take into account that this practice is a natural control of fertility because the success of the practice is not reaching orgasm and ejaculation. Um, the reproductive system, spine and brain must be in good condition. Always remember to only make soft movements so as not to spill the energy. Um, that is so that a sexual fall does not occur. Uh, it should not be practiced during the menstrual period. Seven days must be respected. It should not be practiced during pregnancy or lactation. And remember to have patience and perseverance to control and eliminate the defect of fornication. Also, remember that an act of love fits on love. With this practice, you will discover the true meaning of making love. So, thank you all very much for joining us on this topic. Uh, you can leave any question, uh, or comment in the comment section and let me invite you to join us on the following topic how soul and spirit are manufactured so thank you very much and see you next time